Hello, GifGav. As you know, we've just had our payback. We got loads and loads of payback. I got quite a bit. I got over £200 worth of payback. Oh yeah, that's good. And of course, I spent it straight away. It was burning a hole in my pocket. So I spent mine on another little gadget because I like my little gadgets, my little electric scooters and things like that. This time I bought another camera because I medically needed another camera. The camera that I've got this time is the Sony. It's a Sony AS30. It's the, basically it's the equivalent of a GoPro, but I couldn't really afford a GoPro, so I went for Sony's equivalent. And now I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on what this camera actually does. It's got, at the moment, I'm recording in 30 frames per second, 1080p HD through its stereo microphone. In the angle is at 120 degrees. Now, if I change the angle, because it's got fisheye on it, I can change it from 120 to 170. Here it is in 170. As you can see, it's a lot, lot wider. That's the fisheye effect, which means you can be really close at the moment. I am that far away from the camera and you can see me, hopefully. That's a good thing, isn't it? Let's take the case off and I'll show you this case close up. Okay, here it is. And these, I've looked online and they're about 60 or 70 pounds to replace. How much? Just for a bit of plastic? That is ridiculous. So if you do get a camera like this, try not to lose the case or get it smashed up or anything. But as you can see, all the buttons are there. It's completely waterproof. The only thing it hasn't got, for obvious reasons, is holes in the microphone port. Which means, as I'm recording to you now, you can hear me fine. But if I then put this lens flap over, I'll carry on talking so that you can hear what my voice sounds like. I'll push that down there, and now... It's completely gripped in, and I'm talking normally now, and that's quite muffled, really. So it's not a lot of good with the, um, with the case on, the waterproof case. But then most of the time you're going to be using the waterproof case while it's in water. So you're not really going to need much sound. Right, this is a monopod. And this is what those people, when you see them skiing down the mountains and stuff, this is what they use. It's also good for uh, skydiving and things like that. Not that I plan on doing much of that now, I'm nearly 40. But um, as you can see, it's got, a, it's got a rotatable head, different ways. And it extends. There we go. And the idea is you pop your GoPro or you pop your Sony on the end there. And then you can hold it out there and you can film yourself then, you see? Which means as you're skiing down the Alps, you've got a perfectly good shot of yourself skiing. Or swimming, or diving, or doing anything, that sort of thing. You've got it just there. You can pay 30, 40 pounds for these. There'll be a link in the description down below on where you can get one a lot cheaper, but always, always shop around and look for cash back as well, first off. You can then get one of these. And this holds a phone. It is spring-loaded, and there we go. We grip it around the phone, and it's got a tripod mount. And now let's talk about this camera. Let me show you it. Okay, this is what we got in the box. We got an, a um, charger cable, um, I've got the instructions, we've got a couple of, I'm not too sure these are, I'm guessing these are mounts for helmets and things, let's have a look. I've got this one here, which is a flat one. There we go, which has got a sticky pad on the back there, so if I wanted to stick that on, say the bonnet of a car, or the roof, or somewhere, then I could just do that, and it's a nice double sided sticky pad there, that's going nowhere. And I've got another one, which is over there, which is slightly curved. Same one as this, slightly curved, it's a helmet camera, that one is. And here you have it. You see, this is how it works. You just point the camera and everything is coming straight out on your mo little mobile phone device. If we go into settings look, we've got the different settings here. Record mode, we've got the high quality, uh, 30 frames, 60 frames a second, standard VGA and slow and super slow if we wanted it as well. If we tap, on settings and copy from connected device it will now show us what videos we've taken so far and this is my storyboard for the video that I'm currently making so we can tap on that and tap on share and we can share it with all these different places or we can just tap on copy and that will now copy it straight to our phone which makes it a lot easier for us to to edit and change and to send to people the main reason I got this camera was because of Miniflax my boy 
mini flag sites bouncing on his trampoline. We go aboard quite a lot in the swimming pool and I wanted to see him jumping into the swimming pool and the splash and him going underwater and things. So there's a lot of stuff like that that I thought that's why I need a slow motion camera and one that doesn't, it doesn't matter if I get wet. If you've got any questions at all about this camera that I'm using, this, um, this tiny little um, Sony AS30V, if you've got any questions about this, then yeah, pop them down below and I'll answer them and, uh, and tell you. And if you want any, uh, any little movies testing out, if you want to try this out and do certain things with it, like throw it in the air and stuff, then yeah, by all means, pop it in the description down below in the, in the questions bit and I'll get back to you. Anyway, now for some fun stuff.